explain what progressive is and what overload is to know what progressive overload literally means before we're going to relate it to the fitness. So you must be able, right? So progress, progress, progress basically means improvement, right? Study development. Mm -hmm. And overload means um, putting something excessive, like something excessive beyond what it can carry at that time. Right? Now progressive overload means developing excessiveness. Gradually. Gradually. And what does this mean in relation to muscle growth, in relation to muscle building? When you say progressive overload in muscle building, you're talking about increasing the intensity of whatever you're carrying, whatever activity you're doing in the gym, increasing that intensity progressively, gradually. Right? Now, um, um, it is, it, is, it is very important to start learning gradually. And that is the reason why even when we were in school, they didn't start teaching us like multiplication. We started with addition, right? We started learning ABC. We, we, we didn't start learning sentences. We, we started learning two letter words. We didn't start learning four, five, seven letter words. But we got some point when we were too big for ABC. We were too big for um, addition. Then we started with multiplication. And one times one, two, one times two, you know. Then we started the big numbers. And the time came that they started introducing the letters, alphabets. Right? Now, why? Because our, our, our cells, our cells are meant to get used to whatever we put into them. Our cells, not just our muscles, everything we learn today, everything we learn today, our, our, our brain is designed to adapt. Our brain is designed to adapt. When you learn something today, it gets to your prefrontal loop, to your, to, your, to your frontal loop. And once you learn it, it goes back to your hippocampus, ready to learn another thing, ready to learn something harder. Right? So the muscle is just like that. When you put a pressure on it, with time to get used to that pressure, and, and whatever effect it has on that muscle is not going to have it anymore. So for your muscles to continue to get pressure, and remember, pressure brings growth, right? So for your muscles to continue having pressure, you need to continue, the muscles need to continue feeling pressure. And if you start lifting weight, if you start your fitness journey lifting 5 kg, you can't continue lifting 5 kg forever because at some time, at some point, 5 kg will do nothing to your muscles. Your muscles will, will have already adapted to 5 kg. Right? So 5 kg will do nothing. Then you start to progress. You start to overload your workout. Right? Now, what are the methods of progressive overload? There are different ways that you can progress. There are different ways that you can overload your workout to progress. Right? And one of them is by increasing number of sets. Hmm? You start working out like we give you maybe one set of a program or two sets of a program. Gradually, you increase it. Three sets, you come in time, four sets. You guys now, you do like 10 sets of programs, right? Now some people will look at 10 sets, like 10 sets of programs, that is excessive. But if you do five sets, your muscles might not benefit anything because your muscles might have gotten used to five sets. Only 10 sets can benefit the muscles now. Right? So progressing. Now you can also increase, you can also overload the repetitions, reps. Now you start, you know, your squat with um, five reps. You want to grow next time, maybe six, maybe seven, you know, up to like 10, 15, 20. Mm -hmm. Another way to progress is resting time. You come to the gym, bench press, okay, bench press this. And rest for uh, you know 90 seconds, one minute, 30 seconds, right? Next time you come, you know, maybe after a week or a month, you come and you rest for 60 seconds. Hmm? Then there'll come a time where 60 seconds is going to feel too long for you. Then you bring it down to 30 seconds. It's all it's all progress. It's all progress, right? Now, for, for your muscles to grow, it always has to be under tension. Always has to be under tension. Always has to be under. Uh, 
on that thing. So that is where progress is really coming. If you want to grow your muscles, you can never grow your muscles without overloading your progress. Right? Never.